The first duty a city owes to its citizens is to safeguard lives and property. Sophisticated elements of modern infrastructure, like water systems, electronic communications, roads, and healthcare infrastructure are vulnerable to sudden disruptions. These can come from extreme weather like hurricanes and tornadoes. Earthquakes and mudslides can also cause tremendous local damage. Heavy snowfall and subsequent flooding leave communities without power and communications. Civil unrest and riot strain local emergency health care services. Public health authorities, disaster response officials, and regional health care networks everywhere must be ready to respond to area-wide medical emergencies, even when local infrastructure is damaged or destroyed. Hi, I'm Dave Clark. ReadyNet, that means Rapid Emergency Digital Data Information Network provides real-time two-way communications between hospitals, paramedics, and disaster relief coordinators. ReadyNet uses computers, microwave links, and two-way radios in a powerful integrated communication system. Developed and administered by the Healthcare Association of Southern California, a nonprofit association of hospitals and physician groups, ReadyNet has been in constant refinement and daily service since 1986. While no communication technology can guarantee 100% reliability, in real world applications, ReadyNet boasts greater than 99% availability. ReadyNet is the largest intranet of its kind the only one using microwave transmission, and it's the only system that simultaneously delivers both voice and digital data. Today, ReadyNet already serves major North American cities and links more than 136 hospitals, 52 paramedic centers, and six disaster command centers. The ReadyNet allows my paramedics to initiate advanced life support procedures without calling for base contact. This technology translates into improved patient care by delivering that care in a more rapid fashion. Offering benefits for day-to-day -day medical workers, as well as disaster relief coordinators, ReadyNet is the proven modular communication system, ideal for serving large and small populations. On a non-emergency basis, ReadyNet delivers extreme weather and mass casualty incident data. ReadyNet can be used to transmit urgent law enforcement bulletins to emergency room staff. Sometimes, injured victims of crime or wounded suspects head for medical help. Through the ReadyNet, we can issue a bulletin to all of the local hospitals to be on the lookout for these people. This increases safety for the ER staff. The ReadyNet system provides a list of five hospitals that are closest to the incident. It displays this information on the mobile data terminal on board the fire engine or paramedic unit. By dramatically raising our efficiency, ReadyNet reduces the cost of operating the 911 system, thus allowing us to help more people. When large-scale traffic accidents generate mass casualties, ReadyNet can route the victims to multiple hospitals. This prevents overloading of any one emergency room. Municipalities battling large-scale flu or other epidemics can access the system to track available stocks of ventilators and hospital and ER admissions. ReadyNet, it offers digital data, email, voice, and the ability to instantly broadcast region-wide bulletins. Our experience confirms that ReadyNet is the fastest communication system in existence today for managing public health challenges. Whether it's a dangerous flu epidemic, destructive terrorist attack, or sudden natural disaster, ReadyNet is there, guarding against the chaos and wasted resources that haunt any disaster relief effort. Hospitals can report numbers of available beds, stocks of medical supplies, available staff, and space in emergency rooms and surgeries. 
Most importantly, they can also report in real time when these resources are already committed. Every hospital needs to improve its ability to absorb sudden demands on service and basic resources. Here at Mission Hospital, we installed ReadyNet to improve our response to emergencies, as well as support critical day-to-day -day medical communications. ReadyNet gives us interactive contact with the regional EMS community. At the same time, it links our hospital with others, so we can share timely information about supplies, available personnel, and facilities. Progressive hospital administrators prepare for emergencies by expanding stores of essential medical supplies and drugs. I also recommend they install ReadyNet to preserve vital communications with other agencies. It's the best choice when power and telephone services have been cut. Human lives depend on it. Here at the Emergency Operations Center, we coordinate the organization and movement of relief efforts and materiel. In our massive 1971 earthquake before the ReadyNet system, many lives were lost due in part to poor coordination of relief efforts and failure of water, power, and communication systems. The 1994 Northridge earthquake was just as violent and casually hit hospitals in droves. Through ReadyNet, we were able to quickly identify emergency departments with available capacity. Seven principal features make ReadyNet the ideal communications platform for regional medical response to health care emergencies. They are, one, hospital and central point subsystems use the familiar Windows operating system. This keeps training costs down and allows almost any employee to fill in during a crisis or when shorthanded. Two, ReadyNet supports hospital-to-hospital -hospital communications with voice and digital data. This allows us to continue operating even when phone lines are down. Three, the system operates through both microwave links and VHF radio. Four, like the name suggests, ReadyNet operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The system is always on, keeping the emergency response network in a state of constant alert. This support of regular and off-hour communications avoids unnecessary delay when disaster strikes. Five, it offers real-time, two-way communications of both digital data and voice. That your ETA to mission will be 15 minutes. Six. The system features smart alarms. Sophisticated monitoring automatically alerts operators to changing conditions. Seven, open architecture supports hardware and software upgrades as other communications technologies become available. Ease of maintenance is built right into the system. The powerful multiple victim incident search feature allows any hospital to initiate a search for any victim based on either name, age, or gender. This search feature can assist in quickly reuniting families divided by disaster. The report generator automates the collection and interpretation of important information. It speeds up the coordination of outside relief efforts. This feature allows for better decision making. The reporting helps ensure compliance with hospital and ambulance divert requirements of COBRA both hospital-generated memos and incoming memos are supported by ReadyNet. Real-time communication results in better patient care and less waste of time and medical resources. Incident and assessment surveys include step-by-step -step operator prompting so that individuals with no specific ReadyNet system training can access critical data. Here's what some ReadyNet users say about the system. In our hospital, ReadyNet has raised our ability to work in tandem with other agencies. This has saved lives and money. In every drill or real life emergency, ReadyNet expedited the reporting of disaster assessment information. Systems like the ReadyNet are vital tools in our response to area wide emergencies. Contact the Healthcare Association of Southern California to learn more about how ReadyNet can support your disaster preparedness efforts. They will arrange a comprehensive live demonstration of the system features and benefits. Your own life could depend on it.